Hi, I'm Nate McCullen, horticulturalist here at Garden in the Woods, part of the New England Wildflower Society. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about uh, a little bit of an experiment uh, that we're participating in this year regarding the ALB, uh, also known as the Asian Longhorn Beetle. Uh, it's a pretty voracious pest that has been destroying a lot of great trees uh, in places like Worcester, uh, Faulkner Hospital in Boston, uh, and it's also starting to affect areas out in Ohio. Um, it really likes to attack maples and birches and completely destroys the trees uh, by eating away its inner cambium and eliminating its ability to suck up water and nutrients. Uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit today about the monitoring process that we're participating in. Um, it's a project that is uh, funded through Penn State and uh, we discovered it through the American Public Gardens Association. Uh, more specifically, a program they have called the Sentinel Plant Network. The Sentinel Plant Network is really cool. Uh, it reaches out to public gardens across the country. And what it does is uh, it helps to do early detection and monitoring of pests and diseases. Uh, people in public gardens tend to be paying more attention to what's going on in the landscape, more so than the average person. So it's a real good way to uh, detect things early on so that we can properly assess them later. Um, you can see up in the background here one of our traps hanging from the trees. We're going to have our high school intern, Cam, who's been working a lot on this project, uh, kind of explain a little bit more about the traps and what we do as far as collecting samples from them, uh, removing them from the trees, and putting them back up. So we'll walk over here and check out what Cam has to say. Hey everybody, I'm Cam Duval, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our Asian Longhorn Beetle monitoring system. Um, we have 20 of these traps set up around our 45 acre uh, property and it's my job to monitor all of them. Now uh, the way these traps work is they're flight interceptors so they have to be tied up to a limb on a tree such as this one. Traps have pheromones in them which attract virgin females. Uh, these pheromones have the sense of different trees, host species like the, the birch tree and the maple tree and also um, the scent of a male Asian longhorn beetle. Uh, these traps attract the females which fly into them and then fall into a bucket of water with salt and soap in them which kills them. A um, bit of a crude process but once they're dead and uh, we have collected all the bugs uh, it's my job to sort through them and look for any cerambicids which are longhorn beetles. Now I'm going to lower the trap and show you the process. Once I've lowered the trap, the next step is to take off the fluid on the bottom, which actually houses all kinds of insects, and then dump that out and sort through whatever I've found. These traps don't only attract cerambicids or longhorn beetles. They, uh, attract all kinds of other bugs, including moths and bees and other types of beetles. So, I have to sort through the remains and see if I find any longhorn beetles. I've sorted through all the findings and I found one longhorn beetle. Um, it's not an Asian longhorn beetle, luckily, but either way, we have to keep them in these vials, which we fill with rubbing alcohol. and. We then send them off to Penn State where um, they keep all the findings of the different surveys that they've sent out. I've done my field notes. I've sorted through all the samples and I've done everything else I need to do. And now I can set the trap back up, raise it, and check it again in two weeks. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned a little something about the Asian Longhorn Beetle. You know, all of us, not just here at the Garden, can help uh, participate in the monitoring of this. So if you think you may find a specimen in your backyard, please contact your cooperative extension. Um, hope to see you out at the Garden, and next time you're here, you'll know a little bit something more about the traps, and hopefully won't be scared by them. Thanks.